this section, we're going to go over the very exciting topic of big data analysis. Big data is a term that's been used over the past few years for essentially building algorithms that analyze large amounts of data and be able to generate behavior-based decisions off of that data. And the main gem and library we're going to be using is the Decision Tree library, which is a Ruby library here. It uses the ID3 algorithm, and it uh, really does a fantastic job of being able to take in data and then make decisions based off of that data. And we're going to go through some of these examples and show how to set this up and uh, how to uh, how to generate a set of results. Uh, I want to show you a practical thing that I built for a client a while back, about a year or so ago. And they wanted, it was a large company that had about over a thousand trucks, and they wanted the ability to know via a big data application when their trucks should be retired. So they wanted to be able to say, okay, here is our set of trucks. Here is our, some of our historical data on when we had to retire trucks. And the reason why they needed this is because it was becoming very expensive for them because they were arbitrarily trying to make a decision on, okay, should we retire this truck now or should we keep it working? And uh, they, they didn't really have a good system. They more just kind of did what their gut reaction was uh, instead of using math and using big data. So this application right here took in all of their historical data. So it took in the make, the model, the year, the mileage, uh, how well it had been maintained, everything like that. And then it created a algorithm to tell them when they should potentially look at retiring a truck based off of that data. And you can even see little flags here like this where they hit certain critical points. And so you can click show here and it shows all the data. It looks at everything from if it's a gas or a diesel engine, uh, the type of transmission, the purchase price, Price, the start costs, the mileage, the number of repairs it's had, the number of service items that it's had. It takes in all of that data and then it generated a, a decision on saying this truck either should be retired or this one sh is still fine to work. So it gave this company a, a, a some act actual practical ways of being able to make decisions based off of historical performance instead of just kind of going with their gut. So uh, this is a practical application showing what you can do when you use big data the right way. In the next few videos, we're going to go over how to create some, uh, some decision trees, take in data, and then give some outputted results.